So I just got a question from a viewer and it says, Hey Alexa, I was just wondering how important is meal timing when it comes to weight loss or when it comes to uh, sporting performance? You know, does it actually make a big difference? And is it something that I should be looking at? You know, does it matter how many meals a day and when I actually do eat? Let me know. Well, let's get into it guys. So a very common question that I get with new clients and people online, whatever it may be, I always get asked, you know, does meal timing matter? And does it matter how many meals I actually eat a day? Well, I'm here to answer that really it all comes down to preference. And I know how cliche that sounds, I've said it many times, but when it comes to meal timing and, meal, uh, and, and the amount of meals you have a day, especially when, you, when you're looking at weight loss specifically, then it doesn't matter so much. It's more so preference, okay? It doesn't matter, okay, let's say if you are targeting 2,000 calories a day, it doesn't matter if you hit those 2,000 calories across six meals or if you hit it across three meals. It doesn't matter at all because it's the total calories that will matter in that case for weight loss. Now, for sporting performance, meal timing can have a bit more of an effect. Number of meals won't matter so much, but the meal timing could have an effect depending on you know if you're if you're parad paradising the carbs around your 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 workouts or whether you know you're trying to maximize muscle muscle mass gain and then you're trying to kind of strategically include protein across the day, then the timing could matter there to some degree. But when we're talking about weight loss, when we're talking about you know getting leaner, especially for the general population, where and especially perhaps for you as well. It doesn't really matter so much, you know. Use your preference to dictate how many meals you eat a day, and also, you know, what time you eat eat the meals. There's long been this misconception that if you eat calories, you know, if you eat like a meal late in the evening, you know, like maybe 10 o'clock, that all that gets put on weight because you're not really working out afterwards. Well, that's just false because it doesn't matter if your calories are still equated. If you're hitting the calories you need to hit to lose weight, you will lose weight regardless or whoever you eat in the morning, whoever you eat in the middle of the day, whether you eat really late in, um, late in the evening. Everyone has different schedules. We all have different you know, schedules that we have to adhere to. We have different jobs. We have different preferences, circumstances, so many things that you can't just pigeonhole your nutrition into like a one size fits all approach. There has to be individualization and you gotta look at the basics first. Basics of energy balance dictate no matter what. So it doesn't matter how many meals you eat. It doesn't matter when you eat your meals. Just get in the calories you need, hit the protein that you need, you know, uh, balance out your carbs and fats, you know, in terms of preference mainly. And just overall, use preference as a real big dictator of what you do with your nutrition because it's such an important factor. So many people disregard the importance of preference when it comes to, you know, making a nutrition plan, following a nutrition plan, and deciding what is best for them. And really, you're just kind of, you're gonna basically, Sure, change yourself in that regard. You can't just rely on you know specific guidelines and use that as a basis. There has to be individualization, and especially when it comes to meal timing and when it comes to how many meals you have a day. Really, that really comes down to what you yourself prefer. So really, ask yourself the question: Do you prefer having three big meals? Does that fit you up? Do you prefer you know eating every two hours in small increments and still hitting your calories? Perfectly okay. Do you prefer? to eat more you know, later, later in the day and not really be a big breakfast person, perfectly fine too. Uh, vice versa, doesn't matter. Use your preference. Don't worry about you know, well, you know, when you should be eating or, or timing and all that kind of stuff. It all is dictated by preference. So don't worry about that guys, really please. It's such a big question that I get. I love answering it because I love kind of, um, I love providing advice around it because it's such a simple change you can make to your nutrition plan by just going, what do I prefer? What's saying that suits my lifestyle better? What will I be able to adhere to long-term? Because that is where the key to success is when it comes to nutrition plan, especially when it comes to fat loss. So hopefully that's helped you guys. I know it's a quick video today because really I just wanted to kind of answer this viewer question because I get it often, especially with clients in person when I first meet them. They ask me, you know, should I be eating, you know, early in the day? Should I be avoiding, you know, in the evening? So I really want to kind of answer this question because I feel it's something that really is important to address because it's something that will get people unstuck if they're kind of, you know, lollygagging around, you know, what they should actually be doing. So hopefully it's helped answer that for you guys. 
hopefully, you know, now you have a bit more clarification around what you should be doing when it comes to this kind of factor of your nutrition plan. But of course, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below or DM me through Instagram, ideally. My link is in the description below as well. And if you ever have any, any, any need for, to get assistance from myself, please reach out. Don't be shy. I want to help you guys. So if you ever need anything, let me know. And yeah, until next time, guys, remember, like and subscribe. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your fellow CrossFitters, tell your fellow athletes. And until next time, guys, thank you.